bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The Bears have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 22. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's taken down at about the 31. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. Coming to you, coming to you. Quick strike to the fullback, incomplete off his hands. And that'll make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled at about the 41. So the defense does their job well on that series. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. And he's hammered down. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. catch there before he stepped out of bounds. The linebacker here bites on the play fake. And once that happens, there's plenty of room for a nice completion. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Gets out to around the 48. That'll make it second and inches. They run it left. Tackle around the 47-yard line. And the tailback picks up the first down. They only needed a yard, and the tailback was able to get it. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Got his receiver. Dropped it. Incomplete. He 
He's taken down at the 40. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Let's go deep. He might have a chance. They'll bring him down at the 17. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. handoff and down he goes at the 16 that makes it second and eight and this play is number 8 on the drive throws out and through his hands they'll line it up again on third down They'll line up with five wide receivers. Rogue, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Number 84 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it so worth an inning. It's up, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. From the five-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Scrambled. Decides to slide. He scrambles and picks up five. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 34 yard line. Gains his way to the 43 yard line. It and he stopped short of the line of scrimmage. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. From their own 43-yard line, second down. He's under pressure. And they make the stop at the 44. We're through one quarter. The Bears with a three-point lead. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Interception. And he tackles him hard at the 39-yard line. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Rid of this one. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Three. 
Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 50. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, check my 46. Check my 46. Here we go. He's scrambling, and they got it. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. Quick out to his receiver. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First and 10. Ball on the 29. Scrambling around. He's wrapped up for the sack. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down around the 31-yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. it to the outside. Got it. Complete and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. It's the 11th play of the drive. They'll get him in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. It's second and goal. Ball on the 12. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it 30 days. Play 13 of the current drive. The Bears quarterback down there on the sideline, and, and Kirk, you and I talked to him earlier this week, and he is really the main cog in this offense. Doesn't look like he's that much pain right now. Maybe. Touchdown! Quick pass. the extra point a 12 play 62 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense from the eight yard line and he's taken down at the 31 yard line both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one yeah because they've been so conservative it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant let's see an offense open up and take a few chances an interception cut this offense last drive short so i think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here 
The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. No one opens, so he's going to run. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Fires it out. He's at the 40. And he is drilled at the 35-yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First down. From the 35-yard line. First down. four-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24. Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. He's tackled in the open field. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. The Spartans are going to call their second timeout. Two times, two times. Oklahoma. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Nice run to the outside. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. There's a strike complete, and it pays off. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play calling there. Very impressive. When you're in the huddle and the post route is called, the quarterback and the wide receiver get excited because they know that there's a chance for a big play. Here, the offense does a good job of protecting the quarterback, allowing the quarterback enough time to make that big throw, and of course, the receiver has the speed and the, and the hands to make the play for the touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 27-yard line. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 42. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Second and ten. Ball on the 42. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Nice catch. First down. He's knocked out. 
five of them six ten yards. That makes it first and ten. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Now he's scrambling. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down at the 15. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. The kick is up, and he got it. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. The Bears in front by six. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast pace, up tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something to the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, wait, wait don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk takes the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. Number 17. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. They go with the back, and he's hammered in the backfield. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 31-yard line. Complete, and down he goes, the 37-yard line. Find his man, and they take him down immediately. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. Tackle made at the 33. They're ready to begin another drive. Gets it out to about the 47 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47 yard line. He makes his way to about the 42. the stop at the 21-yard line. From the 21-yard line, first down. Scrambled. What a play, and that is first and goal. 
that makes it first and goal. He'll get the call again. Touchdown. Exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four yard line. Oh, what a hit. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He gets out to about the 22-yard line, and he gets a yard on the run. That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 22-yard line. He's scrambling. Diving for extra yardage. So the quarterback scrambles for about eight yards. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Quick toss. Finds the junior. I'm a huge fan of the play-action pass in college football because the play-action, it really puts a lot of pressure on defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position, and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Nice run there. That brings him second and five. and taken down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's knocked out of bounds at the ten. And this play is number eight on the drive. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. And this is the tenth play of the drive. They're packed in tight on the line. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff.
He'll return it from the three. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Scrambling around. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 2010, Bears. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. down at the 30-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. Three. Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 43. They'll spread the field with five wide. With the pass incomplete. Number 14 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down. He picks up a good seven yards there on the quarterback keeper. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Now he pitches it. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at the 27. From the 27-yard line, first down. the pitch look out loose ball recovered by the defense they work hard and they got the turnover well, this is what it's all about defense taking advantage of an opportunity they're pouncing on the loose ball
The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at about the 33-yard line. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 33. Just under three to go in regulation. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Complete. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Nice gain as he works the right side. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. Setting up the play action. Loose football. They fall on it. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost them. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The Spartans using their third and final timeout. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Tackles him hard at the one yard line. That makes it third and goal. Third and goal. Ball on the one. decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. This one should be makeable. Kick is up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. 
Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. And that's what happened to this offense the last time they were out. It's not just the quarterback's job to try to get this offense going. I think it starts up front with a veteran offensive line. See what kind of leadership they have to try to change this thing around. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. And they'll try one last pass here to pad the stats, but that's about all they're going to get right here. Going deep, lays it out there. Almost picked off. The Bears coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.